How has our country evolved since the civil rights movement? I like that segue there. I mean, just to add on what I said before, like, you know, we, we've just put a cover. It's like, there's like, I mean, think of Jason. Okay, Jason has on this, when Jason comes fresh out, he has on this nice, clean hockey mask, Jason, behind the hockey mask. Jason who? Jason, serial killer guy. Behind is like nasty, ugly. Why do you go to serial okay, killer? What does he look I'm like? Just, I need okay, to picture okay. him behind, in my head. Behind the mask, behind this white hockey mask, is like worms and moles and that eating up face. And behind, Why behind, did you just... Which movie are you talking about? Okay, I'm, 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 okay it's, it's a metaphor, okay? It's a, it's a metaphor. Let me, let me do well, this. Well, I'm going to have a nightmare now, so... Oh, um, please don't. <laughs> That's not great. Go for it. Um, behind... <laughs> I was talking to Ashley. Uh, <laughs> whatever, whatever. What I'm saying is, like, behind the face of the world that we live in is... Evil? Ugliness. Uh, yeah, well, uh, ugliness, evil. So it's, it's behind us, not in us? Behind us, in us, is under the mask. That's what I'm saying. It, it is like it's behind the mask. That's what I'm saying. I mean, not, it's not behind us. It's right Mankind's here. always tried to it's, mask. It's, it's, so it's like it's the man in the mirror. <laughs> We've got to beat it. <laughs> Good job. We got to beat it. Though. You get enough. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're black or white. I mean, right? That's the truth. I like that sorry. song. You don't. Honor if it does, then we got a problem. I'm sorry. Do you, think it's, it's, do you think it's better now or worse mm. since the civil rights It has movement? gotten better. In what way? That's a problem. In what way has it gotten you better? Are you see, jumping from the me. black to the white, then it went from the Latinos to the Mexican. No, wait. I got that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it went from the white to the black, then it went from the black to the Latinos, then it's going to the Asians now. How has it gotten better? How is, it, how is the black? community been given more respect how has that gotten better because you're sitting right next to me and you're from a different country and we both go to the same school and we probably get the same amount of scholarship money actually you probably get more because aren't you like an athlete or you're really smart yeah 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 and you're holding a mic and your mic works just as well as my mic and there's not a sign that says do not breathe on each other and we can't call you a negro because that's that's rude right you're not allowed to say that right so isn't that like common sense? Does the government have to tell you to do that for you to do that? When our minds have been warped for so many years with the lies that we've let ourselves believe, somebody has to, in what's the word, like throw the truth in our face. And sometimes in order for white people to get it, we got to make it a law. I mean, sorry, that's just the way it works in our lives. So uh, it's not really cool that we have to make rules so that we treat you guys right, but I think we have done it better job of it than we did a hundred years ago. She said you guys. She said you guys. And I think at, what, at the bottom of what she's saying <laughs> is... Said is said she said she said my my what? Go ahead. I think at the bottom of what she's talking about is the fact that, you know, like mankind, like mankind basically just sucks at everything. So, yes. like, <laughs> so, like, because, you know, like, I have a... Sucks too. Huh? Yeah. I believe that, that the Bible teaches that man is, uh, you know, just evil on the inside, you know, at the root. And so, you know, and obviously the only way for that to change is uh, to have a relationship with God. But bottom line is that, you know, since mankind is evil and the only people that live on earth are mankind people, then the only thing that earth is going to have is evil so, you know, naturally, when you get a bunch of people together, some evil things are going to happen, more than likely. And discrimination is just a byproduct of that. And it's not because a certain group, you know, is more discriminatory than the other necessarily, you know. I, and it's not because uh, certain governments uh, don't initiate or initiate laws. It's just that, you know, people are stupid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um I was just gonna like just get off like the black in general and just look at like what I think we have done once again. I just have to speak like for our culture as like holy. Like when you look at it, when you look at look at every single stereotype in the culture, then look at media, and then look at how we we poke fun at everything. Okay, that's what we do. You know, Twitter you can make a joke about your best friend. Ha ha. You look like a clown today. Lol. But I still love you. Smiley face. You know, somebody can be like. Oh, Ezra, you're black, you can't play basketball, that's so funny, ha ha ha, but I still LOL. love you, LOL, you know.
know, and what that does is Can you do a command? Exactly. Someone said that to me. We're not gonna talk about that person. No, we're not. Um five no. five cannot dunk. No. Anyway, Shush. sorry. If you ask me that, um, um Don't don't ask him, no. So anyway. No. Muggsy we, Bugs could dunk. We huh? <laughs> Muggsy Bugs could dunk. That's Muggsy, man. He's Stop. a basketball player. I told Stop. Stop. Go ahead. Sorry. Quick story. Freshman year. Someone asked me, not going to say their name, could I play basketball before I went here? They didn't even know me. They just knew I was black, so on my pictures. I said no. They asked me, could I dunk? That does not make sense. I'm 5'5". Five five. What the heck, dude? You asked me, can I dunk? I think you're racist. Anyway, so I'm um, moving on. Um, or just stereotypical. You just do playing the game. But we, we poke fun at things so much that people can now say things and actually mean them and then just say put i'm just playing behind it then everything can be okay or we have to act like you know like okay you can say that but i can't do nothing because you said you're just playing like someone can say something about you like if you're an athlete oh you're an athlete you gotta see how high it's because you're an athlete i'm just playing and then you play. you can't do nothing because if you react after they said they're just playing then you look like you're hostile because you're an athlete so now, if you are a part of like a minority or a segregated group off to the side, and someone says something about your group, then they say, but I'm just playing, and then you decide to react like, hey, don't, don't say that, but why are you being so hostile? They said they're just playing. What does just playing really mean? You're just using just playing as a cover up so you can say whatever you want. It's kind of like LOL. I hate you, LOL. Ah! Shut up. Anyway, I'm done. I got a question. What do you think, Malagos? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't think anything. No. I think I agree with Ezra uh, pretty much, you know. So are you saying the people in the same group should say that kind of stuff or what? What I'm saying is that although we, you can poke fun at things, but people do it so much now, people use that as an excuse. You know, like honestly, we don't ha have to make fun of each other, you know, in order to have, like, comedy. I mean, you can make fun of situations, but basically people abuse the right, basically. You know, like, now I'm just gonna do it because I don't like somebody. Like, I remember my, it was my sophomore year, I'm sitting in the cast, and a group of football players sitting across, across, all across the room, and I'm sitting with, like, three white people and, like, this tall white guy. You know, they're white, I'm saying they're white, I'm not racist at all. So, um, and what happens is, he looks at me in this really intriguing, kind of weird, goofy way. Why are black people so loud? And then the two white girls in the table proceeded to look at me like I had an answer. And I got really mad. I didn't say anything though, because it would have been over. That's what I'm saying. Like, it would, I don't know what, some would have been over. But like, but then he said, I'm just playing, right? So it, was that okay? Was that okay? So uh, now, as a majority in here, picture yourself in the opposite situation. Put yourself in a place where you are the minority now, and someone asks you, you know, like it's a group of your friends over there on whatever team, they're like, oh, why are white people so loud? Then everybody just stares at you. And it's not like they're saying it in a funny way, like they're meaning to be degrading. How, how do you feel? You know, but then they say they're just playing, right? So then how do you respond to that? Can you even respond? I mean, yeah, the response would be you want to fight, but you can't do it because then you seem hostile. Then when you get hostile, you they're, they're going to stereotype all the people of your race as that stereotype and then create a cycle. Yeah. Crazy black. Black and animal. You can dance. You can play. Can I just make a comment real quick Go ahead, bro. while it's on my mind? The fact that I don't believe that there's a such thing as race. Yeah. I mean, in that, you know, we're all human beings, we're part of the human race. So, just saying. 